Good morning, collective. We're going to do a quick energy check. See what your ancestors, the universe, the divine want you guys to know as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good. I've already called in the appropriate protection. This is a timeless reading. It's whenever it finds you. So, I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful Sunday morning. I hope that it brings you peace, love, happiness, harmony, and healing as well, collective. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Hello. Thank you for joining the channel. Um, and to the returning ones, um, hey, beasties, how you guys doing? <laughs> So we're going to jump right into this. First card out. Man holding the heart. I feel like somebody has something to tell you. I feel like this person has kept how they felt for you tucked in close to their chest. I feel like this person's never revealed how they felt for you, collective, whoever I'm reading for right now. Um... This person hides. It's like, you see these bushes? They come inside this bush area to be in their feelings with you. And then they go back out and leave their heart right here, their feelings. This is what I'm getting from this picture. But this person looks at you like they want to, like you're something scrumptious I'm hearing. <laughs> You're something scrumptious. Look at how he's looking. Like, oh my goodness. This could be a man or a woman. Take it where it resonates. Okay. But then you got somebody at the bottom of the deck that's envious. They don't like this. Now they might not like this person liking you or they might be envious of you. I feel like this is who you are. You're very balanced. Very balanced. So the overall energy is this person holding the heart. And then we have somebody here who's envious of this. Ancestors of the highest story life. Show us the cards we need to see. on his like kneecap and then this big heart I'm trying to identify it but spirit keeps drawing me to it let's see what spirit wants me to learn from that heart because they keep making me stare at it you know what I'm hearing in my head I got a man what your man gotta do with me I got a man I'm not trying to hear that that's an old school ass song and if any of you guys know that song, please comment it. I don't know who's, who sings it. What your man got to do with me? I'm not trying to hear that. I got a man. What is this? Why am I hearing that? Maybe you guys are in a relationship and you have somebody who's secretly <coughs> in love with you. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? <laughs> Why am I hearing that song? Matter of fact, I want to pull from here. Guys, to the new subscribers, um, you guys can always email me 
okay when you guys want to communicate when things are resonating if you don't want to comment on the on the video you can always email me I do reply back to those emails um, if you want to make it a little bit more personal so if it said this could be the one oh snap you already met the romantic partner you you're seeking so this is somebody guys I have a feeling you guys have a secret admirer because why am I hearing that song? This person has been secretly admiring you and in love with you. And this is why they have their heart tucked. They have to hide it. <gasps> Maybe they know the person you're in a connection with. Oh, shit, Collective. What's going on here? What else, Spirit? <laughs> Bomatic feelings. I know it. Guys. Somebody you're in a connection with, that person's friend is secretly in love with you. They have romantic feelings for you. Look at this shit. Spirit is pointing this out to me. This person has romantic feelings for you. This is you with your person, okay? Or this is your person and their friend. Don't look at the... It's like what I'm getting here from this is that they're deceiving themselves by hiding their romantic feelings. Like they walk by you like nothing. Oh, hi. They might touch you on the shoulder. Oh, hi. How are you today? And just walk right by you. But they're, they're wearing a mask because they're hiding their feelings. <laughs> they're wearing a mask because they're hiding their feelings, collective. Oh, my gosh. You got somebody who is in love with you, collective. Who is this person? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Who is this envious person? This this envious person could be the person you're with. They're probably starting to get, they're probably noticing something. That this person is in love with you. That their friend is in love with you. Mm-hmm. Reconciliation. Okay. Guys. Somebody from your past wants to reconcile with you, and this person is acting out of envy. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Somebody from your past is returning, and this person is envious. Whoever this person is, their friend has been secretly in love with you. That's the person's friend. That's what I'm getting here. Stay optimistic about your love life. I feel like the reason why this is coming out is because whoever this person is, this envious person, their friend knows that this person is trying to come back to you. And it's making them mad. So guys, just think about it. If you're in separation with someone and their friend has gotten a little familiar with you, not like sexual, because I'm not getting that here. And you know, to each his own. I, I don't know nobody's story. But if this person has still befriended you, even after you guys separated, this is your story. Because this person has been secretly in love with you. Are you understanding what I'm saying? I hope you guys are un I'm explaining this correctly. Mm -hmm. Children. Maybe this person that's coming back from your past. Maybe you have children with them. Maybe they went back to somebody that they had kids with. Because I could. This person is not with you because they want to come back in and be consoled. For somebody here. This man holding the heart is the person that wants to reconcile with you. But they were hiding. They were hiding their, their feelings for you. And whoever they're leaving is the one that's envious. They may have kids with this envious person. 
But this person wants to come and be concerned with you. I feel like you're very balanced. Heart to heart conversation. What did I say? They want to express their love to you. Whoever this envious person is that they have kids with is very codependent on them. Trust at the bottom of the deck. Let's see what Spirit wants us to know. Whoever I'm reading for, you're very fiery, very spunky, very spontaneous, very adventurous. You're very carefree is what I'm getting. You bring out the fire. What the heck did I just say? You bring out the fire in this person. You're the yin to the yang. You guys vibe on anything and everything I'm hearing. For somebody here, the person that's returning back from your life, their friend is secretly in love with you. And it's making them mad because they know that the person is returning back into your life. Take the story where it resonates, okay? If it don't fit, don't let it fit. Yeah, look, somebody's getting courageous to come in and tell you how they feel about you. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. This person is getting confident to come in and tell you how they feel. That's why this person wants to come in and explain. So this person that's coming back to reconcile with you, their friend knows that they're coming back in. And this person over here that's hiding their feelings for you it's getting the strength and the courage to come in and actually tell you how they feel before their friend comes in and be, tries to be consoled. For somebody here, this person that's returning from your past never told you how they felt about you. They were hiding their feelings for you. They were being deceptive to themselves. And whoever they're leaving that they have kids with that was codependent on them is envious of you. Yeah, grief. Whoever this person that they have kids with is in grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Yeah, I feel like they're appreciating you now. They're recognizing, they're realizing, hold on, the only person I'm deceiving here by hiding my feelings is myself. I have feelings for this person. I feel like this person could be the one for me. And I'm just hiding it. I'm tucking it away instead of expressing how I feel to this person. How, how is this person supposed to know how I feel? Or how would this even work out if I don't express how I feel? Okay, let's see. Let's see what Spirit wants to say. So there's two scenarios I'm getting. I'm getting that the person that left you and went back to somebody that they have kids with that was codependent on them, that person is coming back to your life and the person that they're leaving behind is envious of you. And then I'm getting another storyline here where you have somebody from your past that wants to reconcile with you, but one of their friends has been secretly in love with you. And that friend that's been secretly in love with you knows that their friend is coming in to express their feelings, to try to get another chance with you, and it's making them mad because they have feelings for you.
Spirit said, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. That is the truth. Okay, guys. So take whatever scenario you guys feel works. Fits your story. You guys know. Yeah. After Ten of Swords and that's like betrayal. I feel like th this Ten of Swords is representing the betrayal that they they did on themselves by hiding their feelings. This person loves. This person, like they just want to be around you. They just love being in your energy, your presence, your smell. I keep picking up the smell. You guys be wearing some good ass fucking perfume. Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, okay? After some kind of... Shit. Being deceptive to themselves. Or dealing with this codependent person. This person from your past, Six of Cups, is, is trying to return. The Nine of Wands... Um, it could also represent um, maintaining boundaries, persistence. This person from your past is going to be very persistent. What did I say? I feel like you guys are like, you make this person like fiery. You make them... Adventurous, you make this person look at they're holding that torch. That's how you make them. They're like, oh, it's just something about her. It's just something about him. Yeah. King of Cups. This person is is in their emotions for you. This person is trying to tele 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 telepathically communicate with you. This person be sending you energy. <clears throat> After tucking their feelings, yeah, this person is watching you too obsessively. You got two people pulling on your energy collective. I don't know who this reading is for. You got two people pulling on your energy. And they're both in your their emotions for you. They're both in their emotions for you. I feel like your energy is very fucking addictive. Whoever I'm reading for, your energy, that's what I'm getting right now. Your energy is very addictive. This person is trying to manifest you. This per okay, whoever I'm speaking to. You're very, very spiritual. And this person over here likes that. That's why they're trying to... They know that you're spiritual. They're trying to tel telepathically communicate with you. Maybe you guys are on a platform. You guys talked about telepathy before. Yeah, this King of Cups. This King of Cups, King of Pentacles keeps popping out in my reading, gun, son. told you, you have two people here. Two. Two kings that are obsessed with you. Somebody's gonna get a tower. Somebody's gonna get a tower. Because they're both coming in. They're both coming in to express how they feel for you.
You got options. Collective, you got options. Yeah. Everybody's looking at you like you're their wish fulfillment. Who are you? <laughs> Yo, these people are praying. They look, they're looking at you as a wish fulfillment. They're praying for a chance with you. They're like, this is my star player. I love this person. This is what I'm getting. Please, please, let me just have another chance for her. Please, please, let me just have at least one chance. Let me show this person. Yeah, that, yeah. You're going to have to, somebody's going to have to free the, make a decision. Who you going with? Somebody's going to have to make a tough decision. Who you going with? You're going to have to liberate yourself from one of these persons. Because they're coming in. Yeah? You're going to have to put an ending to something. Some of you guys could be dealing with Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yep, somebody's going to feel left out. Somebody's going to feel rejected. My advice is to go within. Listen to what your heart is saying. Your heart and your intuition will never lie to you, collective. Yeah. You're going to have to sit there and analyze and review, reflect where you're going. You're going to have to make a decision. Because you, somebody here has two people coming towards them. You have options. And somebody's going to be very persistent. You got three people pulling on your energy. I just heard. This friend, the person from your past, and the person that they're walking away from is envious, envying you. I feel like this friend sees you for who you are. That's what I'm getting. You inspire this person, this friend. You make them see the world so differently. Why am I hearing that Beyonce song? I can hear you. I can see a halo. Halo. What song was I getting earlier? I got a man. Oh my God. What else has sisters? What else is the collective going to see? Let's see. Yes, sir. there's going to be victim and success here. These people have put you on a pedestal. Let's see. What do they want to see? Some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer. You can be a cancer. I love you. They were living a lie. I feel like they both were living a lie. This man that, that's returning back from your past went back to somebody that they had kids with. They were living a lie. This person that never revealed, this friend that never revealed how they felt for you, they were being deceptive and living a lie. They want you back. Okay. I'm scared to tell you the truth. When will I see you again? When will my heart beat again?
What did I say? You balance this. I said you're like the fire, the yin to their yang. You balance me. <clears throat> Something may be significant with October. Maybe you met this person in October. Maybe somebody's birthday is in October. Regret for walking away. They were living a lie. They were living a lie. Point blank period. And this friend over here was living a lie too. By acting like they don't have feelings for you. What are you going to do, collective? What are you going to do? Your voice is my favorite sound. All I have is memories. Filing for a divorce. Oh, shit. One of these people are your soulmate. They're filing a divorce from this envious person that they have kids with that was very codependent on them. Divorces get messy and those shits take long. I don't know how long you're willing to wait. Lesson learned. I feel like they both learning a lesson. Guys, what are you going to freaking do? You got somebody from your past returning and then their friend is in love with you. Yeah, physically there, but they were emotionally checked out. Lesson learned. Stop living a fucking lie. My love for you will never be the same. My heart still aches from the sorrow and the pain. Time has come for me to say goodbye. Oh, shit. Why did you have to change on me? Your love, you were more than just lust. Your love was so easy to see. Oh, boy. I gave you all my time. Why couldn't I make you mine? I never loved someone the way I love you. They regret how they treated you. Mm. I feel like it's not easy being away from you, whoever, whoever I'm reading for. Let's close this out. What are the closing messages? Guys, get ready. You're going to have a decision to make. You're going to have a decision to make. What are the closing messages? Heart chakra. Their heart. Somebody, they're coming from their heart space now. Listen to your heart. What did I say earlier? Follow your heart. The answer you ask that you seek is in your heart right now. Be open to giving and receiving love. Place your left hand over your heart and ask the divine to help you with this choice, with this decision. Let's see if we have enough time for one more. Because the, the, the recording is about to end, guys. You're going to have to clear, cast, and delete one of these people. Your positive words and thoughts as they rapidly manifest into form. Ask the angels to cancel the effects of past negative thinking. That's what I got for you guys. Use only positive words and thoughts as they're rapidly manifesting into form. Love and light, guys.